Hi guys, welcome back. In today's episode, I thought I would answer one of my most commonly asked questions, which is regarding Instagram, and that is what apps do you use to edit your Instagram photos or Instagram stories? And I don't know about you guys, but Instagram is probably one of my favorite social media apps out there. I mean, I just, I'm on it daily. I upload almost daily. If you don't follow me already, I will go ahead and leave my handle here. It's just, hey Claire, go figure. Now, first off, I just wanna say this isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial about how I edit my photos or anything like that, because honestly, for me, it's kind of different every time, and you know, there is a slight formula to it, which I will kind of walk you through and give you like tips and tricks for, but I mostly just wanna give you five different apps that I use to kind of get the overall look and vibe of my feed. Okay, so first up, the photo editing app that I use the most and have pretty much been loyal to for the last like three years, I would say at least, um, is ViscoCam or VSCO Cam. I don't know however you wanna say it, um, but that is the app that I use the most and I would say that the filter that I use the most is 04. I really like this particular filter because I think it gives my photos a little bit more warmth as well as a little bit more contrast. And like I said, depending on the photo itself is how intense I kind of let the filter go because sometimes the exposure is a little too much so maybe then I'll mess with the highlights of the photo and bring those up a little bit so that it's not as you know stark white uh, on my face for example where my hair is really dark um, so I kind of balance that out a little bit and then I go ahead and add grain so grain is more of a recent thing I would say probably in the last year or so that I started adding grain to my photos it just adds a little bit more something to the photos and you know again you can kind of add uh, you know the varying intensity of that that you want sidebar I just like to say that a lot of times people ask me about how I take my photos or what camera I use because they really like the quality of it and I would say 99% of the time it's just taken on my iPhone and right now I have the iPhone 8 plus I used to have the 7 plus and before that you know whatever whatever that was but most of the time I just use the camera on my iPhone. Occasionally I might have um, something that was taken on my Canon G7X, which is what I'm filming on right now, which is just a tiny point and shoot. And then on the other rare occasion, I might have a photo that comes from a DSLR. So my point being that it doesn't fully matter what kind of camera it is, um, as long as your photo itself is pretty good. And then you can always bump the sharpness up a little bit on a photo to get a little bit more clarity. But for the most part, it doesn't really matter what kind of um, camera you're using. I feel like your phone will be just fine. So for a second option when it comes to photo editing, you know, as far as filters, if you want something that's going to give you the option of adding grain or a little bit more of that dusty look that comes on film sometimes, Filter Loop is another one that I recently started using. Occasionally, I don't use it very often, but sometimes it's nice to play around with. I don't have a particular filter that I like on that one or anything. I just kind of mess around and play with the intensity and um, add different overlays and stuff like that just to get the vibe of what I'm feeling at the time. My only tip when it comes to creating creating a theme or you know it doesn't have to be too hard because I'm not someone that wants to go in and edit all of the um, color out of my photos so that there's white background or anything like that that's not not really my vibe I pretty much stick with the same filters and the same kind of temperature of the photos throughout my feed and that's the only thing that I really take into consideration that being said, if you are somebody that likes to organize your feed and plan ahead, one app that I've liked to use to kind of see how my photos are going to look next to each other is the app called Unum. I mostly like to use this app in order to bring in the photo that I'm thinking about uploading and putting it next to what my Instagram feed already looks like just to make sure that, you know, either the photo temperature is the same and so they kind of make sense or, you know, I do take into consideration my thirds, like all the three photos on a row together and just want to make sure that I don't have like a selfie next to a selfie or that it's just like on top of each other. That's the only thing I want to provide a little bit of variety and a little bit of a break. But um, again, I don't think too much about my theme. If you're somebody that really plans it ahead and takes a lot of photos ahead of time, um, maybe you have a blog and whatnot and you want to consider um, you know, what's going to be posted later, this is a useful tool, I think. Okay, so when it comes to Instagram stories, the app that I probably use the most if I need to use an app at all is InShot. And I know that there are a lot of other apps that are very similar to this and maybe even are better, but this kind of covers my needs. So most of the time when it comes to Instagram stories, the only thing that I'm really looking for is an app that will kind of um, make sure that the quality of the video is a little bit better, which number one, I would suggest not creating video directly in the Instagram app because the quality isn't as good. I would film it directly from the camera 
on your phone and then in InShot you can actually trim the clip if you need to. InShot does have a few filters that you can kind of mess around with if you want to on the video, play around with the intensity. Um, it also has a few effects and you can add sharpness as well as grain and other different effects. I don't use those too often and I used to use the grain option a little bit to make it look cohesive with any other uh, photos that I would post into stories but because it's a moving image versus a still image it almost looks like when you put the grain on it almost looks like you're looking through a window so I don't love it too much it doesn't really move I will say also you do have to pay to not have the watermark that says in shot on the video or the photo but I don't remember how much it was but I don't feel like it was much and for the amount that I use it it was well worth paying the money for that and then finally, my last suggestion for you guys, which is not actually an app because it is a feature that's actually built into your phone, but I get tons of questions about how I record my screen and how I record the Spotify playlist that I usually incorporate into my Instagram stories because sometimes I like to tell you what I'm listening to and I don't want to just show you the song I want to let you listen to a clip so the screen recording feature is actually built into the new iPhone you can also find apps out there that will help you record the screen I don't know them off the top of my head I just know that this is a feature that's built into your phone now you go into your control center customize controls and there will be a screen recording option that you can add into your control center and I just incorporated it into this bottom corner so that I can just simply swipe up from my phone, hit record, and then it will start recording my screen instantly. And then I can stop it and then I can trim the clip to um, fit my needs and fit, fit within the 15 seconds that will be available on your story. So that's it. Those are my five app suggestions for you guys. I didn't want to go too far into this and go into all the other ones that a lot of people I'm sure already talk about like Facetune to erase pimples and whatnot. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments section or if there are other apps that you suggest um, I try out if I'm doing it the long hard way. <laughs> I always welcome shortcuts. But overall just have fun with it guys. Play around with the apps. Find out what your style is and you know again it's, it's all about fun don't take it too seriously it's just Instagram it's just a highlight reel um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye